Things change. <laughs> People change. But anyways, since I'm being a Scorpio Saturn, I'll get that later, because that's not going to happen in oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Right. So, get the back fat character out. Don't get Anyways, I can't spend too much time. I have to be really fast. But guess what? This is what Saturn does. What? In Scorpio. It wants to test you. And you want to test it and test other people. And it's going to sting you. No matter if you pass. Yeah! It's going to sting you with some poison. And if it's good or bad, that's what we're going to have to go on. Because you need to create a new stinger, Miss Scorpio people. You need to have a double Scorpio. You need to have something developed there. And I'm going to create the stars up there. Because as a unicorn Aquarius, we're such an atheist. We're going to create our own little world. And then we're going to show you what to believe in. And we're going to make some more delusions. And then it's all going to come together. And all the signs are going to do the same thing. Because Pisces ain't no Antichrist. It is the Christ. <laughs> you know what? how psycho we are? We're going to all become one one day. So when that happens, this is how it's going to help you. You're going to get acid foot and die. Because you're a fucking Pisces. Because you rule the feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because they rule the feet. I'm just kidding. We're going to get rid of the rules. And I'm going to cut off all your feet. And that's why you're swelled up. Because I'm going to cut your feet off. Not cool, you dick. What if that was part of our irrational way of living? Physically and everything. Just like when you tell yourself not to believe in um, law of toxin, but it happens anyways, like pathetic stories that you make up for yourself, and you have the anxiety, made up anxiety or whatever, and it deals with itself by going inside your stomach or going inside your brain, going inside your feet, I don't know, and that's just a lie too. You could be psychologically abnormal and it physically manifests together, and that's like dumb. Why do we have to have so much responsibility for existing and being an illusion, like a Pisces? Crazy! If we have to control everything that we look like and everything we do, because we only can remember ourselves like God does or whatever, didn't they? God and Goddess do this. They looked at their thing that they created, right? They kept staring at it, and if you stared away from it, you lose it and it disappears. But there was a way for that God or Goddess to create um, its separate self, which is us, our entities. That we're just pretending to be friends when we're only our best friend. <laughs> Schizophrenic self, probably, as God or whatever. Right? And then, uh, it, it found out a way for it, not, it to give itself a break. So it separated itself for a little bit and made itself forget a little bit of this veil of, that we got. That we call demons because we're trying to fight through it because we're so lost without ourselves. Because we lost part of ourselves and we're just grieving over it over and over forever. Cry on is something that you can't heal from, but you can heal during it. And Micron is in Gemini. You heal through your communication, but it's always damaged. It's like an unhealed wound. It's always open. And it comes back. It's kind of like chopped wood. And um, it's kind of like being hungry. You have to feel that appetite out. You have to eat it. You have to eat to uh, cure the appetite. That's what your crown is. To cure the hunger. If you're the hunger, but you'll be hungry again. Crown is your healer. So you heal yourself. Crown is how you heal yourself. And it always gets damaged. And it can get damaged any way. And it can challenge you for a long time. Your crown could be in any house. This is the house of Pisces. Oh my god. Did you know what? This guy right here is in the house of Pisces. 12th house. Crown. So I'm about to teach you something that's coming through me because I'm a channel of this weird being. Okay? That's fine, right? With you? Okay, fine. Do it. Guess what? My crayon's in my fucking face because my ten, my first house is crayon. I'm not studying this. This shit just comes from me telling you this. And plus, I hate my face. And you'll get dysmorphia if you have your crayon in the first house. Not everybody has their crayon in the first house. Just because I have crayon in my Gemini doesn't mean you have uh, crayon in the first house just because you have crayon in Gemini. Okay? Two. Like, we both share that, right? Me and you both share Crown and Gemini. And I am obsessed with trying to heal this. I can't figure out how to make it perfect because my Saturn's in the sixth house and it wants to be perfect in every fucking Scorpion way because it's Scorpio. And it's crazy. And this is me being a maniac inside myself and I'm going through my Saturn return somehow. And this is going to be me in the camera. And it's probably, you can't even hear me. It's dumb. But I want you to tell these people about c before I click over and go to the next part. The part about, um, yes. there's apparently a light, bright light on the surface of this theory. We have no idea mm -hmm. uh, what's causing it. Yeah. It's cool. It's on the actual planet. Sweet. Thank you. I can't 
really fit us together because there's such a gap between my chair and his bed. I'm that fucking lazy and stupid. Or, I'm just so jealous I want the spotlight. No, that's not it. But it could be because I got third house in Leo. But it's not. I'm really lazy. And I'm trying. Because people have insecurities and I don't want to bother them. Because I'm psycho and I'm on my own too and I don't want any attacks with the near to meet anybody. Because my son was Jupiter and Aquarius. And you know what? Somebody that we know has Jupiter and Aquarius. And I want to be friends with her. And I don't want to mention her on film while I'm making a fool of myself. 10,000 Pisces. Which is, guess what? I could admit that it's somebody cool that I hope that we can just be friends. <laughs> the end. I'm not gonna say. But oh well.